Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask Enki. Today, we are looking at the beautiful add-on known as True Space. This is the 2.0 release and this is made available by the folks at True VFX. Now, we've talked about a couple of tools that they have before, you know, where we talked about the True Terrain and we also talked about some other cool stuff that they've created like the True Grass and also the True Earth and, you know, the True Rock. But today, we are seeing this beautiful True Space. So just in case you're looking for an add-on that would help you create the illusion of space and you need these things in high quality you will be able to gain access to 30 plus HDRIs that this stands to offer all of the maps that you'll be getting here range from 4k all the way to 18k so if you're looking for quality you will definitely get this so with this said let's dive over to blender and take a look at how this works so with blender open all you need to do is go over to edit go over to preference and install the add-on now with that add-on installed let's simply get our asset so we have a very cool asset right here if you want to get this, I'm going to put a link in the description where you can grab it. And also there is a link in the description to a couple of free Friday stuff where you can grab free assets. So this is one of those cool free assets that we have. So if you have this now, how this works is uh, it's very simple. Press N on your keyboard and right here you'll notice you have the true space. I'm going to turn this on and turn this right here. Now if I go through and take a look, you would see that we have a couple of these things so these are the ones that i have installed because you know there is a uh, 30 plus so there's a lot so i just simply installed this one for demonstration purposes and to get started with this all you need to do is select one of these hdrs and then switch over to ev so once you switch over to ev you notice that you have your object in space if you want to get rid of the grid you can easily do that by clicking right here take out the floor take out this and take out that as well and you can now switch to making some rotation so let's rotate this and you might be wondering how is this even lighting this stuff i mean what's the use case so in most cases you want to create space and instead of going in there and making tiny stars looking for hdrs that doesn't have good quality evs this would save you all of that hassle so from this point if you want to increase the exposure get some good quality lighting you can easily do that so you can see that right there if you want to play with the contrast you can also play with the contrast and get something that has very good quality Quality. Now, for those who would also want to animate this, yes, you can. So right over here, we have the rotation. So we've already moved the rotation to a point like so. You can go in there and, you know, turn on the auto key. So let's drag this one all the way up. Click right here and set that auto key. Right click. Let's right click and put a key right there. Move these over to frame 40 and rotate this how we choose. So at this point, if we bounce this all the way back, press the playback button, you notice we have that going and we also have our very tiny spaceship animated. So press the playback button, you have this and you can now go in and do all of that, you know, interesting looking stuff. Now there are other kinds of HDRs that you can play with because if we click down here, you would also notice that we have the galaxies and we have the nebulas and we have the planets and also stars. So depending on what you want, you can select this. If you need a blue nebula, you can just simply click and get the blue nebula right here. So one thing to keep in mind is whatever update that you make to any of the HDRI settings follows through to the other HDRI. So at any point in time, if you're not comfortable with what you have, you can actually go in there and start making some changes. So let's get rid of all of this stuff that we have here. And then if we want to also rotate this, we can also do the same thing. So let's get rid of these and turn this one off. Rotate this right about the point like so. Beautiful. And then we can go in, you know, play with the highlights. If you want to change the hue, you can change the hue. You can animate this. And this would be very, very interesting. If, and this will come in very handy if you want to make some effects for your shots. And at the same time, if you want to play with the lighting strength, you can also crank this up, crank these ones down as well, because the lighting strength is totally different from what you have for exposure. And you also have saturations and all of these controls. So click right here. If you want to get something like the red giant zone, you can also do that. And you can also choose to change the hue and get some, you know, design result so this is this is very neat for those who would like to create galaxy stuff or galaxy like stuff maybe your project depends on something like this or you're looking for an add-on that would save you time and also give you some very good results with little or no hassle and the quick learning curve then you can simply go over to the link in the description and check these things out. Meanwhile, they're offering a 25% discount right now. So if you want to get this, this is available for 25% from now till the 1st of January. So for those who want to get the light version or maybe you want to get the full version, you can simply go over to the link in the description and take a look at this. At the same time, if you go over to their page, you would notice that they have the true mass, the true earth, true grass, true space, true terrain for quick terrain creation 
and also the true rocks so these are beautiful stuff that they've made and these things come pretty cool for those who would want to get rapid results and create things faster tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with the tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace